What's up everybody, welcome back. So before we get started, I'm gonna apologize again about the audio. Um, this is my second video with the new iPhone Pro Max, iPhone 15 Pro Max. Dropped my iPhone in the, in the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Wouldn't have been the Gulf of Mexico, it's the Atlantic Ocean, so rip. I need to get my replacement little adapter, USB-C to auxiliary to plug in my Rode microphone. But until then, I got something to review here. I'm very excited about it, so I just couldn't wait. Couldn't wait for that to get here literally tomorrow. So we're gonna review this. Um, I had a company reach out to me. If you go to my Instagram and you click the thing that says contact, my email pops up. Bondsapartment at gmail.com, holy shit. For the first time ever, somebody used it, at least for the process of, or for the purpose of business. Um, and they reached out and said, we wanna send you this so you can review it. It's a cigar case from Mont & Co. I don't think that's Monty. I think it's Mont & Co. So yeah, let's get into a review of a cigar case, shall we? Guy reaches out to me via bondsapartment at gmail.com. Bondsapartment at gmail.com. You may have heard of Gmail. It says, hey, we want to send you a cigar case. I represent this company, Mont & Co. God, do I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And he says, we want to send you a cigar case. All you got to do is review it on YouTube. I said, sure, absolutely. I'll, t I'll take this, uh, I mean, it's in here in a little dust bag, Mont & Co. Let's make sure that this is actually called Mont & Co. I'm kind of struggling with this here. Corporate gifting customer testimonial. I mean, wherever this video is at, I, Four Seasons, ew. Nothing but exceptional. The attention series with Monte & Co. has- Monte. Monte & Co. Co. Okay. Dude, this is cool. Okay, side note, they do corporate gifting. Monte & Co. Okay, all right, so one person said Monte & Co. One person said Monte & Co. I can tell you what they didn't say, Mont & Co. So it's Monte & Co. Mont A & Co. Monte & Co. Based in Toronto. Oh, God. Monte & Co. makes leather goods, luxury goods. You've got weekend duffels. You've got totes, cigar cases, aprons, laptop cases. Cases for like barbers to keep like your clippers and your combs and other things. You've got, of course, dop kits. I mean, that's, does that screen bond? We're all big on dop kits here. What looks like a passport holder. You've got a card holder, merino wool wine toe. They've got all kinds of stuff on here. I will flash the website up here. So they were kind enough to reach out to me and send me this cigar case. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do something a little different here, and I hope Monty and co is okay with this, but we're gonna review this for what it is, a cigar case, but I'm not like the biggest cigar smoker. I did just smoke one like three days ago, but um, you know, when I open this up, there's a spot for like a lighter, cutter, matches, multiple cigars. All I've got is these cigars, I don't have a lighter or a cutter. I mean, I have a cutter, I can't find it. And uh, my lighter is not one that I would ever put in something this nice. So I'm also gonna show you what I think is another way to use this. Because for the price point, which before we even get started here, I think is about 350. You're probably thinking, okay, like, am I gonna spend that much in a cigar holder? I think for somebody that's a big cigar aficionado, I'm looking at you, Bud West, I think there's people out here that definitely would, but when you see the functionality of it itself, I think there's other things you can do with it that you might might intrigue you. When I opened the box, there was this little ditty, just kind of a little marketing thing, Monty & Co, luxury everyday essentials, ethically handcrafted in Canada. Oh, freaking can God's country as my dad calls it. I was born in Canada, Monty and Co. If you guys are watching, I was born in Canada. Born in Windsor, Ontario there. You know, no big freaking deal there, eh? I am one of you, but I've just dropped the accent since I moved to Michigan when I was like three. But, you know, I can put it on whenever I need to, here we are. You know, let's fuck 
Goy, created in small batches by master artisans in our Toronto and Montreal studios. Now that is cool. Luxury goods made in Canada. That's something I don't think I've ever heard before, and that is freaking cool. Our luxury everyday essentials are crafted from the finest natural materials using old world techniques that have been passed down for generations. Our everyday essentials are meticulously assembled using the finest wool and vegetable tanned leather, created as an investment piece to last a lifetime and be passed down to the next generation. Love that. Truly love that. And when I open this up, you will see. And then before we get going, a personalized note from Nick. Now let's, uh, I just saw Nick, that stud, in one of these YouTube videos. I did. Okay, Nick, guy with the beard, wearing the blue, one of the founders, I believe. Thank you for this. These mean a lot as well. Luke, just like Bond, we like the, and can we just stop real quick? It's not just like, a, let's just start reaching out to any YouTubers and send stuff over. They know I'm a Bond guy, Bond's apartment, but they've probably watched some of my stuff, looked at my page. I appreciate that, Nick and team. Nick, Ron, and Andrew, love you guys. Canada for life. Luke, just like Bond, we like the old fashioned things. Please enjoy this leather and wool cigar case with its classic elegance and artisanal craftsmanship. It's sure to be a timeless addition to your suave repertoire. Stroking the old ego there with the suave. Okay, here we go. Monty & Co. cigar case. Open up the little dust bag here. Boom. Now, as they said, they make their products from Italian wool and leather. Now, what do I like about this right off the bat? I have some very nice, like, waxed leather products. And what happens when leather is exposed everywhere? It gets scratched and beat up. This is meant to be taken places. It's meant to be used. However, for three twenty-five, you're like, I don't want this to get scratched and beat up. Well, with the wool here, that's not happening. And it's very soft, very nice. Nothing snagged when I look at it at first glance here. Everything looks to be in perfect order. Nice gold little zipper here, like gold accents. Very, very nice. Screams elegance there. You see the Monty & Co. logo on the back. Handcrafted in once again, Canada. Toronto. You open this bad boy up. Zipper works really well, by the way. Um, and there you go. So you've got essentially four main pouches. So you've got cigar pouches here. You've got probably lighter, cutter, and then here maybe matches, variation of things you can put in there. But uh, on their website, 395 for this. Okay, even better, even better. A lighter in this pouch, a cutter in this pouch, and then four, five cigars in this pouch, which they actually kind of have this tucked in so you can kind of see the cigars, which is also nice. And then in this one, I'm assuming you can put, you, if you want to put an extra lighter, extra cutter, matches, whatever you'd like in there. No big deal, put whatever you want in there. So for the purposes of the video, we'll review it to start as a cigar case. Notice that, it's probably backwards in the video, but they monogrammed it, LJT. They asked me if I wanted it monogrammed, and you wanna know why I said yes, Monty and Co? Do you wanna know why I said yes? Because I'm not selling it. I'm not one of those people. I'm not gonna take this very nice gift, review it, and then sell it. I could gift it, pfft, gift it. No, I'm keeping it, because it's got my initials on it. Luke, Jesus Christ, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, Luke Joseph Taggart, don't come find me. So, four main pouches, cigars, lighter, cutter, matches, lighters, cutters, whatever you want. But you can put money in here, you can put whatever you want in there. You can put smaller cigars in there, like those cigarellos or whatever they are. So, for the purposes of the video, let's go with the cigar portion. So right now, I've got three cigars. Okay, we're gonna put them in this way because this is not annoying to hear the wrapping. Just kind of throw them in there. One, 
two. So I'm saying with these size cigars, you can probably get three, four, five, six, or seven of these bad ones. This is hand rolled from Nicaragua, actually, that I got down on the Florida Keys. Cover that up, boom, nice. Now, another thing I can tell you right off the bat that I think you'll really like about this is this just reeks of leather when you open it. That incredibly good leather smell. I mean, it's very, very soft, very well stitched. Every aspect of the inside of this is leather, except for obviously that kind of lining of the zipper. So you get that incredible leather smell when you open this up. We all know. Like as I'm, you know what this smells like through the camera. You know, you know that I know, you know what this smells like. When you've got six, seven cigars in here, and I bet you bring this over to the cigar club, hang out with your buddies, you leave it open like that, this is still gonna smell like leather when you get home. So that's nice. This pouch here, I know on their website, they've actually got it kind of tucked in like that. I think it's more so just for the purposes so you can see where the cigars go. But this little pouch keeps them safe so you don't damage the tips of these cigars, which everybody who smokes cigars knows you don't wanna do that because then you got a big problem. These pouches here, perfect for cutters and lighters, but I'm, I'm, you know, if you can find another purpose for it, go right ahead. But all of this leather is in, it like, very, very well made, very soft. I know I keep touching on how soft it is, but these buckles work perfect. They stay in there nice and tight, little bit of flexibility. So if you've got like a chunkier lighter, kind of a nicer lighter, like not any of that like Bic gas station BS, you can get that right in here, nicer cutter. And then up here, you might even be able to fit a team Toronto hockey puck in there, a Leafs hockey puck. Imagine if this guy shows up to the freaking cigar bar, right? I mean, very nice. I mean, and this is this is cool as hell, in my opinion. This is really, really nice. This is like something that just elevates. You know what I mean? When I think cigar bars or cigar lounges, you know, that's like a that's like an elegant thing to do. And your buddies go in there, have a cigar, have a stogie, crack open some McKellen. Why wouldn't you want to show up with something nice like this? So Price point, I kept saying 325, I was wrong, it's 395. And don't worry, that's okay. Because it's a one-time purchase. It's supposed to last a lifetime. It's actually got a limited lifetime warranty on it. There you go. Let's talk about the features a little bit more in depth on this. So you've got, this is the cognac leather case. I chose cognac, there's three colors. There's cognac, navy, and black. Cognac is bond all day, let's be real. As far as the product details, Cognac leather cigar case with gray wool accents, as you can see. Larger interior pocket, holds five cigars. I like this little flap. Cigars, I honestly think you can get six in there depending on the size. Medium interior pocket. This on the website doesn't actually specify the use, so that is kind of like for your miscellaneous stuff, whatever you want to put in there. Like I said, for a cigar smoker, probably extra matches, extra lighter, extra cutter, something like that. Two small interior pockets holds torch and cutter. Free range US vegetable tanned calfskin leather, Italian wool from a generational family run mill, and Italian gold plated hardware, all handcrafted in Toronto. Care instructions, so you can get this bad boy to last forever. To ensure pristine appearance, delicately brush away any dirt using a soft bristled or suede brush. For spills, promptly absorb them using a clean absorbent cloth. For non-water stains, use a dampened cloth and gently pat the area, allow the item to dry naturally after cleaning to maintain its integrity. So what does that tell me? You don't have to buy anything wild to take care of it. It takes care of itself as long as you're not nuts. If you get anything on this, just dab it off and you're good to go. This is worth the price in the sense of if anything falls or spills on here, you don't have to worry about it getting dirty. Just wipe it off and it's done. This is a Bond channel, ladies and gentlemen. We're all about luxury here. I know there's a bunch of cigar smokers in the Bond community. You know you want this bad boy.
three different colors, cognac, which is like this light brown, black, and navy. Now, here is where we're gonna have a little fun. I am gonna show you how else you can use this because I said earlier, I'm not the world's biggest cigar smoker. I can't even find a freaking lighter to put in here for this freaking video, but I will show you how else you can use this right now. This is a beautiful leather good, okay? And I will use it for what it's for. But as I've said a few times, I am not the biggest cigar smoker in the world for good measure. I am gonna start using this next time I travel. When will that be? Not sure, but here is how I am going to use it. Sticking to its purpose, we'll bring a couple cigars, get rid of the Nicaraguan one. Two cigars in, okay? So we now have two cigars, bang. Next, my Tom Ford sunglasses, right next to the cigars in this incredibly soft pouch. I'm telling you, because I know people are gonna start complaining about scratching anything. You're not. The leather is very, very soft. So now, pair of Tom Ford sunglasses, right into the pouch. We will close the pouch up. Just get ready. This is gonna blow your damn mind. For the other side, up here, which we put, which we put, we can put all kinds of things. What we're gonna do, Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. You get it? Tobacco Cigar Case. Bang, bang. Tobacco Vanille travel size. Right in this case here. And we are ready to freaking go. Buckle that shut. Next, how else would Bond use it? So now, this cigar case has turned into two cigars, Tom Ford sunglasses, Tom Ford tobacco beneath, tobacco, God, that's good. Perfume, eau de parfum in here. Last but not least, when you're traveling, you drive to the airport, you're all set. Now, you can keep your cutter or lighter or whatever in here. But I'm gonna throw my car keys in here because I'm not gonna need these boys, but it's my car and it needs to stay safe. So there, car keys in the little pouch. And last but not least, what is the very last thing that James Bond would put in here? All while still using it for its purpose, but finding other ways to use it if you're worried about the price point. The Omega Golden Eye Watch. We will buckle it closed and slide it in perfectly to once again relax a very soft leather pouch. So now what you thought was just for cigars and you may have thought maybe that's a little pricey. Now has cigars, sunglasses, cologne, car keys, and a watch. Say less. That is my review. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Monty and Co. for sending me this. Oh, and if you want to know, does it still zip close with all that in there? Zipped closed. Nice and light. Soft. Did I mention that it's soft? That's it. Please check them out. I promise you right now, the first thing I'm going to do, I am going to support this business and I am going to get one of these Weekender bags. They are freaking awesome. I'm going to start with one. I mean, this is the thing. They've got multiple options. They got Weekender bags that are mostly leather with some wool. And then for less money, they've got some that are mostly wool with some leather. Check out Monty & Co. Canadian brand. I know there's some of my Canadian guys out there that are really going to love this. Thank you guys for sending me this. I really, really appreciate it. And I really do like the product. The only gripe I have is the price point, but you, you can't really, it's, and it's not a, a gripe per se. It's a, 
If you want luxury, you got to pay for luxury. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about the price point? As I said, it's, it's mostly leather. The outside might be a little deceiving, but when you open it up, the entire inside itself is all leather. And as you now know, there's sunglasses, cigars, car keys. Like here, I'd probably keep the cutter. Or watches in here, cutter. This is my car keys, but I keep the cutter in there or something. And then colognes in there. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the price point. All of us can agree. If you want luxury, you got to pay for luxury. So for that, with it being probably 80% leather and then Italian wool, I don't think it's too much money. But it's more so, do you want to spend that amount of money on a cigar holder? Let me know. I've shown you two ways to use it. Obviously for cigars as it's intended. And then how I would use it to get the most out of this product. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. I appreciate you.